Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swish, and I'm here today to review Amazon. I did an option trade in this today. I took it, and then I took a little bit more, and then I took some right into the close. It was very, very late. I tried to get filled. In fact, the last fill was, shoot, five seconds before the close. My last fill was 15.59.55. <laughs> here, look at this. This is really funny. Look, I tried to get 10 more, and then I didn't get filled the rest. I only got filled six. Let's go over it. So I decided to do an option in Amazon today. Why? Because it gapped up. It had a big move. I did calls. I bought calls. You can do this tomorrow morning. It's absolutely fine. They expire on Friday. Price point is 800. That's the target. But also, I'm looking at a target really up here. 785, 786 really, also 790, which is the resistance. This is the resistance. 789, 790 is the resistance. If it gets over this, the stock could blow, go well over 800. Tomorrow there's an FOMC announcement. My expectations for that are what? That there's a positive reaction to the market. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the morning. What I'm looking for Amazon to do tomorrow morning pre-market is to gap up in this area here from where it closed into the high of the day. So I would like it to gap into the tail. It closed at 774.45, I think. 46, it was off by a penny. And I would like it to gap up over that area in the tail area here. So if that does that, here we're gapping up a little bit. If it gaps into the area here, it'll rally up onto the day, over the high, up, over here. Now I will tell you something. I took this and I was, you know, when you're doing these options, you have to decide what is a good price? What am I willing to pay? It had a beautiful move this morning, which I'm going to go over in a minute. And then I thought, I'm trying to get this at one. I want to get it at one. And then the day went on the day when I thought, you know what? 130, 140, under 150 is good. I bought some at 135, some at one. Here, what did I spend on this? 135, then I got 149, then I got 120, then I got the rest at 74 cents. So my average cost is basically what what is fine to pay, which is 125, except I'm down in the trade right now into the close because I took some at prices over this. Maybe I should have waited to the close. Actually, I, I ran to the bank, I did some things, I came back. I might not even have gotten this if I hadn't gotten back before four o'clock. It was like 3.58 when I came back home and I, I saw it and I was like, ah, maybe it will take some more. Anyways, bottom line is I'm down $1,700 in this, but the trade is good. It's really, really, really good. So I have 36 contracts, which is 3,600 shares. What am I looking for this to do? So let's look, well, I told you the targets. Let's look at the option chain. And then I'm gonna go over the chart again. I don't like that this does all these different squares. Okay. You, this is perfectly good to do tomorrow morning. If you didn't get it today, I'm giving, I'm giving you a trade. Go, do it if you want. So wherever this opens tomorrow, this says three, but I didn't see that run up to that. I saw it run up to two. I, I, don't, I don't think that's accurate, but whatever. Anyways, last fill was probably me. Five seconds into the close at 74 cents. <laughs> I'm going to laugh here. I'm going to choke. Anyways, that probably was me. Anyways, to make a long story short, low today was 38 cents. So if you bought it today at 38 cents, you could have made a huge amount of money because it ran up to two. Huge. And, and I just, I was looking at other things in the morning to day trade, but you can day trade options. You could have bought it at 38 cents a day and you could have sold it at two. And how did I know to do it? I'm gonna show you in a minute, but I really quickly, this is very good. You could still do it into the open tomorrow morning. You could put an order out before the open actually to do it. One, one, two, five, good prices. You should be able to get this tomorrow at one, two, five where I have it now. My average cost one, Watch it, it's spreading in the open, but put an order out into the open because if it runs up, it's gonna, it's gonna rally. 
Anyways, to make a long story short, this here, huge volume here today. Look at that. Almost double the volume of the open interest here, which is 48.76. Today's, this is, this is, you know, these are new trades in here. Some may have sold, but I doubt it. And why? What's the reason? Because the stock itself is making a turnaround. Today's a turnaround day in this. And it's and it's a it's a day in the market actually, which I'm going to go over the market next, which is gives me 100% conviction that everything is higher and it's really going to be a bullish year in 2017. But let's go back. What am I really looking? Let's just say this goes to 790. So here we are at the 77. Seven, we close at 775. Say we run up to 790 ish, minus some time value between two two and a half ish. Okay, tomorrow, if it runs up to there, if it gets to the strike, 800, which I don't know if I'll hold it to that because I'm going to try to run this up tomorrow, 770, <laughs> you know, it'll be like five to six. That would be amazing. But again, the idea is that you take a certain amount of risk and you take it. If you can double your money in one trade, you get out. So I'll be perfectly happy with this, making 1,000, 2,000 or doubling my risk, which actually was quite a lot because I took 3,600 shares. I tried to get 40, uh, 4,000, but I contracts, but I didn't, I didn't get it. It was just too late. But I'm happy with what I got. It pulled my price down a lot. Now let's go over the chart. Why did I like this? First of all, it was a bullish gap up. I only trade gaps. I'm doing gaps. I'm doing gap ups. I'm doing gap downs. They have to rate well. What do I like about this chart? I love the fact that this had the turnaround day today. This stock has been struggling. I've been watching it for a while. Today, finally, finally today, it got over this area convincingly for the second time. Do you see this here? This was a gap down here that happened and it dropped hard and it finally went over it. It also closed over this area here, which was the resistance, a secondary resistance. Here was the first area. Here was a secondary area. It got over it, it closed over it. And it also was a bullish gap up that happened here. Open was 774.05, we closed above that. We closed. Right in here. So we closed over this area here of the resistance. But that's not even what made me decide to do it. Besides the bullish gap, What's the reason that I did this trade? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna tell you right now. It opened and swooshed. It did a stock swoosh. A stock swoosh is something that happens in a gap. And it opened and did a stock swoosh today. And when it came in, even when it came in, which it only did because the market fell in the afternoon, the last 15 minutes of the close, into the close, it came in, it held. Look at this, people, this held. So this big massive bar here, lowest 762, highest 776 happened in the first 15 minutes of the day. And it, it held 90% of this bar, 85%, whatever the number is. This is institutional buying people. Look at the volume. Look at the move that it had. It's amazing. So this tells me that institutions bought Amazon today. They stepped in with power, huge volume, massive move, and it did a stock swoosh. Let's go to the one-minute chart. And so I'm in this trade because it did a bullish gap up and it opened it at a stock swoosh. So I'm seeing follow through that the institutions that bought the stock on the day will continue it higher immediately and will not let it break. So I'm in this here and like I said, you could even take it tomorrow morning. It, it does it as anything, anything under two at this point is a good entry between one and 150 would be perfectly good like I have. Anything under one is a gift, but it, it's probably gonna open over one tomorrow morning if we gap up. But anyways, here's the open, and here you have it. So do you see this here? Highest 769.44, 764, $5. It opened and swooshed. So, I mean, look at this, look at this. This is, look. So I'm in it, and this is the turnaround day for the stock. I've been watching it for a while and waiting and waiting and waiting, and the stock is so strong. It's going to every number, and then some far exceeded expectations, almost went to 850. There's nothing wrong with this. It it gapped down on the earnings and then fell and did all this stuff in here, but it's recovered finally today. Today is a recovery day. The confirmation for many people to buy back into it probably will be here, but it will be very expensive then. Today is still affordable. 
I'm predicting that it's going to follow through in today's thing. It's that you're taking a chance when you make predictions to get in a cost at a good price, but that's how you make the risk to reward. That's how you make money. That's how you make 100% return on investment and sometimes more than that. And I'll be very happy here if I just get that. Now let's quickly look at the market and then I'll let everybody go for the evening. The overall market, which we're going to look at the QQQs, finally made a brand new all-time high today. 121 was one of the targets that hit it. It went over the number tomorrow's the FOMC minutes. Came in a little bit into the close, but actually that's good for the market to continue higher tomorrow. If the market had closed very strong near 121, it probably would have gapped up high or gapped down a little and been hard to get over it or waited for the minutes. This is better. The follow through right now where we are tonight, again, I don't know where we are in the morning. This, the follow through on the live day tomorrow is better for the pulling that we had into the close. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I'm telling you that's a fact. And the SPY obviously is higher as well. And the next number is 230. We got to 228 something today. <laughs> 228.34, so. I mean, a lot of people think they missed the move. They're not long, but you can't short this. How could you possibly short this? This is a breakout bar in the QQQs. You, are, you cannot short this. You wouldn't be shorting this. This is not a top. This is a brand new breakout bar that has happened in the QQQs and every strong stock that exists, every one in the planet and Amazon is one of them despite the way it's traded and in the last six weeks. It made the turnaround day today. Every strong stock is gonna follow through higher and 2017 is gonna be an extremely bullish year. I thought it was gonna be 2016. It, it was a bullish year in the market. We recovered well from the way we began, but I actually believe that in the next 60 to 90 days, we see extreme bullishness in the market and meaning that it will give people the confidence that they need to really full on buy and believe in the market. You can call it optimism. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it anything at all. But people now are finally feeling good about the market and, and they're feeling confidence again. And it is all about those emotions that create people wanting to take trades. My emotions in this today were high. As soon as I saw the stock swoosh, I was very, very happy. And I wish I would have bought it at 38 cents, but, but I didn't, so. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. You can get this in the morning. Again, Amazon 800 calls expiring Friday. You'll pay up if you get it out later. Uh, first target is 785, 786, 790, 792, 800. And FOMC minutes tomorrow. Good luck, everyone. It's gapping up a little bit tonight. Close at 774.46. Right now at 774.79. And this bar here, which is a real bar here because you can see the volume was at 777. I'm looking for a gap up in Amazon tomorrow between here and here. Have a great night, everyone. If you'd like to sign up for the Golden Gap course, the last class of the year is Sunday and Monday. I'm very excited. It's been an amazing year and 2017 proves to be much, much better. Thanks everyone and have a great evening. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me.
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. Tonight, I'm reviewing Amazon. Why? Because I did an option in this. And if you want to do this, it's not too late. You could do it tomorrow morning into the open between 9.30, 9.35, 9.45-ish. You can wait till it settles out a little bit and jiggles and wiggles, or you can put the order out before the open. If you get this anywhere under one and a half now, the price is good. My price in this is 1.25. This morning, it opened at 38 cents. What is the reason I did the trade? First of all, let me just show you. 